I like to look at things which inspire me, and I like to meet people who inspire me as well. Um, when I became the president of the General Conference, a very good friend of mine, who is a French-Hungarian painter, Lehel Urmini Hamar, came into this room. I told him everything, what I was hoping to do in the coming two years, and he told me, okay, I know what you need. And then a couple of days later, Lori arrived with this painting. And this is really the summary, it's called Liberty, and it is really the summary what we are doing here in UNESCO. You know, we started we building up an organization and kind of movement together through which we are really hoping to get, uh, to, to be able to build a better world, a safer place for our children. So even it's sometimes dark, even it's sometimes gray, even if sometimes we are really uh, uh, afraid, it is red because the red is the color of your heart and the red is the color of the hope and the energy and we always have the hope and the symbol of freedom, the dove. So I was just totally mesmerized by this painting and I am using it as a symbol of uh, my presidency because I think that gives a summary of really the efforts what the member states are doing together. And actually we are gradually going up the stairs and of course it's not easy but who said it would be <laughs> when you are elected to the general conference then you really concentrate first on the general conference which is probably the hardest time this is at least what you think at the beginning, that that's the hardest time. Because really then you have to be able to give the leadership to the house. You have to uh, make sure that everything is in order. You really have to make sure that especially in difficult times or during difficult topics, the house will still keep the noble dignity and uh, you, of course, have to listen and to talk to everyone and try really to find a way how you can conduct uh, the, I would say, the consensus building uh, processes. What actually uh, all the chairmanship really requires from anyone. I have chaired many conferences in my life, but the main point is, of course, that you have to give the voice to everybody, but you also have to make it sure that when the people are talking, they are really not harming each other. So, but that was only the three weeks. But of course, then in the coming nearly two years, I was very clear about what I wanted to do because after all, I was the ambassador of my country, Hungary. So I was on the spot. And um, before I was elected, I went to all the member states and I really asked them what they wanted me to do. So it was not only my wish list, or it was not only my dream, or it was not only a possibility for me in my professional life to do something, um, which is a kind of continuation of whatever I've been doing so far. But I was really relating to the wishes of the member states. And I have to tell you that the wishes were totally different. And then it is the question, how do you do that? Someone wanted to have a leadership. Someone wanted you to look for the consensus. Someone wanted you to speak out. Uh, someone wanted you to talk to someone else. So there were like thousands and thousands different wishes. So obviously the final word or the final decision was always mine. And I was trying to really to do the best uh, so that people could better understand each other, so that people could better listen to, the, to each other, and so that we together could move on, uh, I would say, through the, the troubling times of UNESCO. Everyone knows that, of course, the big question of the 36th session of the General Conference was uh, what would happen uh, when uh, the General Conference would decide uh, taking Palestine as a member state into UNESCO. And that was really the major issue politically, psychologically, and culturally, and financially. So we all knew that that would be a very difficult topic. Uh, but of course, this 
this was the moment where, which made the headlines, right, for UNESCO General Conference. Uh, but um, UNESCO General Conference two years ago was also very interesting because we were able to send very strong messages to the world and uh, we were hoping that UNESCO could play a role in the peace building processes. And somehow you feel that in a general conference you are in, uh, in a big feast because this is the moment when everyone comes dressed up with an open heart, with smile on their face, with, with hope and, uh, and with really joy. And you have to cherish this moment as well. But of course, the general conference is also the time when you have got the toughest discussions. So in the last two years, we were still trying all the member states with hope. Uh, and I would say with, uh, especially me, a positive attitude to find a way how we can go together on this road. And I think we have found uh, solutions and we have found answers to our questions and we have done it together in a transparent manner. And this was something what I was very much uh, uh, cultivating, uh, communicating well and openly uh, clear-cut messages and transparency. And uh, this is what really matters amongst people, human beings. Because if you are open and transparent, even the difficulties can be solved in a better way. What would you be your major advice to the new <laughs> president of the 37th General Conference of UNESCO? Well, my first advice to my... Um, um, dear colleague uh, of the president of the 37th session of the general conference would be please listen to everybody please talk to everybody there are big countries there are small countries but UNESCO is a unique place where we all are on the same level we are all important so the first thing is to communicate, to listen, to try to find out what is going on in the house, to try to find out what is going on in the minds and the hearts of the delegates. And of course, try to find a way how we can all hold hands and, and go further and find answers in the difficult political times, historical moments, which will make this organization, of course, livable and lovable to everybody in the world and useful for humanity.